Greetings. This one's for you, Herc. Um, so, and this is, it's been on my mind ever since I reread it. This is the second time I've read this one particular story called, um, I'll get to the, Web of Carnage. Um, the Sensational Spider-Man, part one of four. And so, I got this collection from the library because a lot of these stories in here are in other collections that I have already. So, I remember when this came out a couple of, man, I don't know, maybe like six months ago. And I almost bought it, but I did I have most of these. And it's, I'm not going to pay... $44.99 for like, for like five issues of a story or two that I've never read before. <clears throat> but lo and behold, the library had it, so I picked it up. And there's some stories in here that I don't have, but it has the Web of Carnage. And I just was looking at the covers. Get back to it. So, I showed you the part one. This, uh, this cover right here. I was, I was, and I've read it before and I saw it again as a dude, spider carnage. And it just looks so awesome. And then I'll show you the covers. This cover is pretty cool. And then this is, uh, yeah. Part four. Um, what I did not remember is that this Spider Man is on. It's got that. That wonderful, wonderful Mark Bagley art. That 90s goodness. Oh, looks so awesome. But yeah, this isn't the Peter Parker Spider-Man. This is the Ben Riley Spider-Man. And I was not reading comics when this came out. So they had the whole clone saga where they found out that uh, Ben Riley, that Peter Parker is not the original Spider-Man, Ben Riley is. And which is stupid and people hated it. But for this one story where Sp Spider-Man gets possessed by the Carnage uh, symbiote, it worked because I was uh, like, ah, Spidey can't be, I mean, Peter Parker can't be possessed by such an evil force and like be corrupted the way, like, he would never be corrupted, he's too good. So, having Ben Riley substitute, substituted and him being possessed by Carnage made it easier to swallow. But yeah, it, it's, uh, let's try to find another good one. Oh, uh, that's not Peter Parker. It's Ben Riley. It's weird. If you've never read it and you are a Spidey fan, it, it is definitely just. This is one where the, it's just mainly the art that got me. Um, so, Cletus Cassidy is in Ravencroft, but somehow Carnage is getting out and like attacking people on the street. Uh, ben Riley is trying to figure out. How? And it turns out the the Carnage symbiote has infected um, the head of security, uh, John Jameson, Jay Jonah's son. But then that's 
But when Ben Raleigh Spider-Man confronts it, it jumps from John Jameson to Ben Raleigh Spider-Man. As a, it's, I don't think they. Oh, yeah. But, I don't think they know what they were doing, but it's such a like thing, a movie thing, vibe, to carnage. And then there's also like a when Ben Riley gets possessed, the inner battle between him and the symbiote was pretty funny and. I don't know, just give me like an Evil Dead vibe. Because the symbiote's like, uh. Because uh, Peter Parker comes knocking on Ben Riley's door. And he's like, you can. This is a symbiote. If you can kill him, then you would be the only one. The real one, no questions. Kill him and end it here. Kill him. Kill. Kill. It's just like. And I was like, I could see that. I could see like a movie. I could see Sam Raimi directing this, this scene. His eyes. But yeah, that's that was kind of weird. I forgot. Like, Peter Parker is just not the focus of the story. And even though he's not the focus, he's still like a dick to Mary Jane. There's another part where he's. Spider Carter just like stalking Peter, trying to decide to kill him or not. Yeah, just like, I was like, man, Carnage, it's called, Car he's called Carnage. And he just talks about, like, eating people's, just like Venom, eating people's brains and ripping out their entrails. And you never see that in here. Um, also, also, what was really cool is that each issue runs through, like, Amazing Spider-Man, Web of Spider-Man, Sensationalist Spider-Man, Adjectiveless Spider-Man, I think. No, no. I think it's just... Let's see, I think it's just Sensational, Amazing... Oh, yeah. Adjectiveless Spider-Man. And it wraps up... In, oh, the Spectacular. Spider-Man in each issue is hand, handled by a great... Writing an artist team. Like that, that's one of my uh, complaints about Maximum Carnage is that the Mark Bagley issues are awesome. I think Kyle Severin does art and, and Sal Buscema. Yeah, Sal Buscema does the last issue. The Spectacular Spider Man. But his, uh, his line work. Is oh okay? It says Sal Buscema breakdowns, Art Fiber and John Stanis Stanichi finishes. I don't know what breakdowns. What's breakdowns and infinite? But they made his his art way better than. Oh, he has such a like angular, almost like connect the dots look to his regular when it's just him when he's i guess inking his own stuff i do not like it like it it almost ruins it but if someone does the finishes for him it looks a lot better so yeah and it, four issues quick it's not the most earth shattering or like um detrimental to Spider-Man, I mean, it's not even Peter Parker as Spider-Man, but uh, it was really good. Only thing, there's really no final battle. It's just the symbiote jumping from Spider-Man slash Spider-Carnage back to Cletus, and I guess it's just like a self-contained story, actually, because the symbiote had to leave him in the first place to get back to him. And it just really, actually, now that I say it doesn't even make sense. Why? 
Like you, it would do that, but but just I, I've just been reading this the last couple of days. Mm. Yeah, the art is just bird spider car just looks awesome. So yeah, I just been thinking about it. And I had to just talk about it. Yeah, the whole Ben Riley thing. And Ben Riley is Scarlet Spider. He's not Spider Man. Just one last look at that awesome cover. I, I was I was gonna I was thinking about buying like each individual issue. This one alone is forty bucks. And I saw that and I was like, I have the collections, so it's it's gonna be good enough. For me. So yeah, um, Web of Carnage. I guess I have to give it a three and a half because there's no final battle. Which I, when I was reading, I was like, nothing really happened. But it was just. This is a pretty good collection. But I mean, they're just... I mean, again, this is just a rip-off because I have so many other Spider-Man collections that have these issues. Or Venom or Carnage collections. But if you don't have any of them, and you like Carnage, this would be a good collection to get. It also has, uh, like... That stuff, and, and it has uh, the Mind Bomb issue with art by Kyle Hot. It's just like perfect for Venom. So yeah, just wanted to get that out. Um, so we'll end on this if I could do it. <laughs>